The fighter jet at the heart of Israel's bold strike on Iran's nuclear program is not just any warplane. It's the F-35 Ayadir, the mighty one. And it's unlike any other aircraft in the world. When Israel launched Operation Rising Lion, this fighter jet was on the front lines. More than 200 fighter jets were mobilized, but the stealth Adir jets played the most critical role, penetrating Iran's heavily defended airspace, striking deep into its nuclear infrastructure, and returning without a trace. But what makes the 35 Ayadir so special? To start, it's based on the U.S.-built F-35A Lightning II, already one of the world's most advanced stealth fighters. But Israel took that design and transformed it. The result is a customized, domestically enhanced aircraft tailored for Israel's unique security challenges. First, stealth. The F-35I's angular design and radar-absorbent skin make it nearly invisible to radar. Weapons and fuel are stored internally, allowing the jet to maintain its stealth profile even while fully armed. But Israel didn't stop there. Its engineers developed their own electronic warfare systems, giving the jet an edge in jamming enemy radar and defending against surface-to-air missiles. These systems are integrated into the aircraft, replacing the U.S. EW suite with Israeli tech that responds faster and more precisely to local threats. Then there's the helmet. Israeli pilots use a modified version of the F-35's state-of-the-art helmet-mounted display. It projects flight data, targeting info, and infrared views right onto the pilot's visor, turning the cockpit into a 360-degree command center. But perhaps the most significant upgrade is operational independence. Unlike other F-35 operators, Israel has the unique right to modify its jets. That means it can integrate custom weaponry and develop mission software independently. It even manufactures its own F-35 wings domestically. Reports suggest Israel also added conformal fuel tanks streamlined external tanks that increase range without sacrificing stealth. This would be key in reaching deep targets in Iran, like Natanz or Fordo, without mid-air refueling. During the recent strike, these stealth jets reportedly slipped past Iranian defenses undetected. They hit key locations including air defense radar, missile bases, and uranium enrichment facilities. The precision and low observability of the F-35 Dryad allowed it to carry out coordinated strikes with minimal detection, degrading Iran's military capability before it could respond. And the F-35I isn't just an attacker. It's an information hub. The jet can fuse data from ground sensors, satellites, and other aircraft to create a real-time picture of the battlefield. This data is then shared with other units, making every force around it smarter and deadlier. Flying at speeds up to Mach 1.6 and costing over $100 million per unit, the Adir is not just a fighter jet. It's a symbol of technological supremacy. It's part of a new era where air dominance is about intelligence, stealth, and networked warfare. Israel was the first country outside the U.S. to receive the F-35. It now operates over 40 F-35Is and plans to expand the fleet to 75. In a region where split-second advantages can change the course of a conflict, the F-35I gives Israel a powerful edge. Operation Rising Lion has revealed just how far this capability can go. From advanced avionics to unique national upgrades, the Adir is the jet that redefines how modern wars are fought and won. This isn't just about speed or firepower. It's about staying unseen, striking first, and owning the sky before the enemy knows what hit them. That's the power of the F-35I Adir.